Men of Reddit, what do you think would be the worst thing about being a woman? The fact that schools think showing shoulders fucking corrupts the minds of men, to the point where they go out of their way to suspend the girls who do so. Oh, and giving birth. Not feeling fully safe at all times in public, or hell, even at home. I take it for granted that I can walk pretty much anywhere at any time of day, or night, and should be fine. Being surrounded by people that are way bigger and stronger than you and could do basically anything if they wanted. Like, imagine if half of society was silverback gorillas. Sure, most of the gorillas are perfectly nice, but all it would take is one deciding he doesn't like you and that's it. Childbirth. I'm told it's painful. Pregnancy. Ain't gonna lie, that sh. T looks painful and I have the utmost respect for all women who go through being pregnant. Edit. So this is now my most upvoted and replied to comment. Thanks for all the love, and hate. I went to a club about a year ago. When I was waiting in line a woman came up and out her arm around me. Her friends were there, and was saying how cute I was. She was obviously very drunk. She started kissing me in the cheek and her friends pulled her away. I didn't really care. I thought it was funny and didn't reciprocate in any way, since she was drunk and how I was not. However, I thought what if I had been a woman? What if she were actually a six-foot-tall dude, and his friends weren't there or were cheering him on? What happens if it weren't able to physically push her off whenever I wanted? What if he's starting to try and aggressively make out with me? That's something that every guy should think of I think when they go out drinking at a club or bar, and if a much worse experience happened I might not want to go out again, at least not with a few friends around me. That and periods. My friend gets bad periods and it's terrible. Also higher hair maintenance. But at least you can have nice long hair without looking like a stoner. Edit. I just remembered. Later that night I was front row of the concert. It was Ruby Rose Jing. I liked it but wouldn't call it a concert. Another drunk girl came up to me started aggressively grinding on me. I think she wanted my spot. I kinda just danced her over to the bar seat near us, got her some water and then went back. But again, if the roles were reversed world felt extremely uncomfortable and probably scared instead of just. The fuck is going on? Big boobs. Ever watch a woman run? Of course you have you liar. Seeing them bounce all over the place looks annoying as fuck. I get annoyed if I'm casually jogging with a bag that's not sick you super well. Can't imagine having those going all over the place. Having the fear of being attacked sexually. I was molested for the better part of my childhood till I was 11. Multiple cowards and sick people overpowered be me. The fear of getting hurt worse for telling was always in the back of my mind. When I finally spoke up nothing was done. The family brushed it off because said molesters were mentally handicapped. Slow, but nothing drastic. The worst of said scum hurt well over children, boys and girls. Also dogs. He murdered pets and would make trophies of their corpses and everyone in my family wrote it off as him being retarded. He was the butt if jokes and people laughed off his crazy behavior. I'm years old now and I still have terrors and nightmares about my attacks. I'm somewhat of a man's man big beard, lift weights, general guy stuff, but I still break down in tears when I read sad stories about abused children and women alike. I will admit the hashtag meta movement changed my life. These brave women sharing their stories and standing up as a collective is something that I will always admire and have respect for. As much as I would like to say him over my demons and have made peace, I just can't. My innocence and childhood were ripped from me and I don't feel K will ever truly recover. All I can do is sympathize and understand the importance of speaking up to the right people. Help is out there if you seek it, and I've been blessed with a handful of people that I can share my story with. Stay strong ladies, much love. Pockets in pants are too small. Having people be fake towards you just because they want to get in your pants. Edit. Shout out to the gifter. S and to the wonderful people responding. I would think these. Minus back pain from the boobs weight. Minus the mood swings. Minus not being able to pee anywhere easily standing up. Minus not being able to go bare chested. Minus being expected to be classy everywhere. Means no farting, yawning or sitting legs wide.
minus opinions being dismissed casually, minus being regarded a bitch for being too assertive, minus expected to stay back and let someone else handle it, minus can't wander off at night without fear of being physically attacked or sexually abused, minus being expected to not get fat to be desirable, minus being expected to wear the black bucker in 100F or not being able to drive or go out without male guardians in some backwards parts of the world. Didn't bother with all the top ones already mentioned like periods and childbirth. Periods just seems annoying also the perverts that are in this world. Menstrual cramps with endometriosis and pcos. Edit. R.I.P. my inbox. And thank you for the bling. Edit 2. Holy hell. My first gilding followed by another. This really is too much. Please instead make donations to your local Planned Parenthood or other low-cost women's health program. Unsolicited dick pics. Being unable to be nice to a man without him hitting on you. Sexual harassment. Not being taken seriously. If seen the way some people ignore the opinions and concerns of women and chalk it up to that time of the month or even more vulgar things. Much respect to women in the business world who have to deal with a lot of bullshit. Being viewed as bitchy if I push for what I want being looked at sexually all the time. I know most people would say periods, or cramps, but I think that the worst thing would be that girls are set to a certain standard. If you're not tall, wear heels. If you are tall, it's just weird. You can't be taller than boys. And also the dress codes for schools are aimed mostly toward girls. No short shorts. When would a guy wear them? No. Revealing. Shirts. Cuff cuff shoulders. Like how our shoulders distracting. And also, no offense to any ladies, but there's so much freaking drama. Make one wrong move and you're known as the school idiot. Kiss one guy and er the school whore. It's just horrible. Periods. Edit. Looks like a lot of you agree. Makes me wish it switched back to my main account before answering. I have learned a lot though. Answers range from meh. They aren't that bad to periods ruin your life so have your uterus removed immediately. Edit 2. Thanks for the silver. Edit final. Okay. I thought it list some of the possible methods of relief from below comments. 1. Nothing helps. Source. A lot of you. 2. Birth control. Source. A lot of you. 3. Painkillers. Didn't see anyone mention ibuprofen specifically but so claims this helps. 4. CBD and celery juice. Minus source. Forward slash you forward slash smooth shake. 5. Magnesium. Please read user's full post as it's long and I have no idea how to link to it. Source. Forward slash you forward slash butter cakes. 6. Reducing caffeine intake. Minus source. Forward slash you forward slash blonder unicorn. Honorable mention. Hose down lady bits several times per day. Minus source. Forward slash you forward slash a kizero.